Hey, Shalom, Brother Ara coming to you with another video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us to 100% truth according to the Bible. And who were well, double Shalom to all you Akiam and you Akwa, those are the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. And I'm going to redo this lesson here because uh, this devil, all right. This uh, Edomite devil took down my last video. Well, actually, he didn't take it down. Uh, he did like he had done a few times before. He uh, muted the audio. Okay, and um, my last lesson was on Yahweh Shai and the return of the angels very soon. All right, and I don't know if he was offended by um, our Lord and Savior's name being put in the title. Uh, Yahweh Shai, or if he was offended by the actual depiction of our Lord and Savior. But nevertheless, we're going to redo this video through the Spirit. It says, Revelation 1 and 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Okay, those clouds represent the chariots, which I want to prove that right quick. All right, let me see, Psalm 103 and 4. Actually, is it Psalm 103 and I always get this mixed up. Maybe 104 and 3. That's it. The Wadi Shai says, Psalm 104 and 3. Who layeth the beams of his chamber in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariots? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? So just to prove the point that those clouds is referring to the chariot, which who this world ignorantly call UFOs. So what you're going to see very soon, as we see the uh, all the end time prophecies playing out, you even got, you know, major World War Three tensions increasing. You got the push for the MOTB. OK, the tests being done with the uh, the monkeys, the um, Neuralink was reported about eight monkeys died from that that test. OK, but all these things are happening and this results to what the glorification of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai soon to come once these prophecies are fulfilled. Okay, and they're scared, man. These Edomites are scared. The elites are scared. All right, but nevertheless, Revelation 1 and 7 says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. So everyone is going to witness the return of Yahweh Shai, king of the universe, as he enters into this rim. It's going to be overwhelming to the point where there's going to be people that give up the spirit when they see a dark skinned man with white woolly hair austere fearful look all right you're gonna you're gonna fear when this man comes comes back everyone's gonna fear it says and they also which pierced him okay those roman soldiers that pierced yahushai when he was on the scene over two thousand years ago they're back in what's called reincarnation, which is biblical. Okay. It says, and also, so like, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Let's go into that word well. I know it to be a high pitch, a bitter cry. Let's see what the concordance has. It says, uh, uh, it doesn't have definition here, but Nevertheless, that word well means a uh, high pitch scream, okay, cry, uh, uh, yeah, high pitch scream, yell, cry. Okay, it says, All kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. It says, Even so, Amun. And if I can get Psalm 68 and uh, 17, it says, The chariots, those UFOs who the world inwardly call UFOs, it says, Of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai are 20,000, even thousands of angels. Okay, this is the, our Air Force, our military Air Force. Okay, Yahweh Shai and angels that's going to come and deliver the elect, praying that we're part of that number. Okay, and this is how we're going to be redeemed if we're part of that number, get beamed up in those chariots from the destruction that's going to pursue. Because when Yahweh Shai comes, he's coming to bring fire, he's coming to. Uh, send forth laser beams, zapping people, turning them into dust. We're going to get that in uh, Second Ezra, the 13th chapter. Okay. And so that's why Elisha told his understudy when the enemy was coming to attack them, 
that it's more of us than it is of them. Because the angels are surrounding they, they, these elites and these different people, average people are seeing chariots. They're seeing the so-called UFOs. These the angels are making their their appearance, okay, to prepare for the evasion. It says the Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. So Yahweh Shai is going to come with his massive chariot to bring forth fire. Okay, and what does fire do? Burn, man. It's going to be a lot of death and destruction when the Lord comes. Okay, right before those nuclear missiles hit uh, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. Now, 2 Ezra 13 and 3 says, And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. We just read the angels of the Lord, 20,000. Okay, those uh, the, the angels in the chariots. All right. It says, and when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. That that austere look, man. Everyone's going to be afraid when the Lord comes back. Verse four says, and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burn that heard his voice like as the earth felleth when it filleth the fire. So he's coming to bring forth fire, right? Verse five says, and after this, I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number uh, from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. So there's going to be uh, a multitude of, you know, the militaries, different militaries of these other nations that's going to stop fighting each other in this world's war three. That's intensifying when the Lord comes back, then they're going to what? share common interests of trying to fight against Yahweh Shai and the angels. And the Lord put it on the spirit of this this devil, this Edomite devil, Ronald Reagan, to speak about that, I believe, at the UN um, Assembly in 1983. He spoke about having to fight against, uh, you know, don't quote me on this, but extraterrestrial beings. They took it off YouTube, so can't post it, all right? But um, you can look that up, though. Verse 6 says, But I beheld, and lo, he had graven himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. Speaking of the chariot. All right. Uh, Ezra received a vision and that vision that he received. OK, he described it to be as a mountain floating in the uh, in the air. OK, and it reads on verse seven. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven and I could not. So he couldn't see the end of this this mountain. Or, or what he described as a mountain, which was is a chariot of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Verse 8 says, And after this I beheld and lo, all they which were to gather together to subdue him were sore afraid and yet durst fight. So these military nations, you're going to have North Korea, China, America, Russia, uh, you know, NATO nations, and, you know, these nations fighting against whatever side that they're fighting for okay in this war world's war three but when Yahweh Shai pops up on the scene they're gonna look to fight him but they're gonna be afraid fearful okay shit in their pants but the Lord is gonna have to put on their spirit to fight them he's gonna have to make them fight him dare them to fight him okay verse 9 says and, and that is a part of fulfilling prophecy okay Verse 9 says, And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. Okay, verse 10 says, But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth, as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lip a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. So, you know, he's coming with the whirlwind, Yahweh Shai and the angels. He's going to be sending out fire, blasting fire, laser beams, zapping people turning people into powder dust as you're going to read here in verse 11 it says and they were all mixed together the blast of fire the flaming breath and a great tempest now you can only imagine how fearful that's going to be you see a a giant uh massive chariot which edges received the vision described as a, a as a mountain you couldn't see the end of it and this chariot you see a dark-skinned man angry a so-called black man, angry as hell, with a countenance that's 
you you're afraid to even look towards man but he's going to be shooting he's going to uh, it's going to be shooting laser beams coming from the from that chariot man okay zapping people it says um and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burn them up every one so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke all right you you can um equate a small depiction of that to um war of the worlds with tom cruise okay and you know these devils they get the ideas from from the bible but it was they depicted um sort of like a chariot you know shooting out you know laser beams blasting people turning them into to dust and the dust in the movie the dust got on uh i believe tom cruise and he had to dust himself off because somebody got smoked man right beside him it says when i saw this i was afraid so the vision that ezra's received he was afraid verse 12 says last verse here says afterwards saw i the same man yahweh shai come down from the mountain and call unto him another peaceable multitude so that is the elect. The elect is going to get beamed up. Okay. And the chariot receiving salvation. Last scripture here. This is this is why this devil mutes out certain videos that brothers do or taking down lessons, you know, striking, giving strikes and uh, pushing out, um, you know, f saying that we're pushing out uh, misinformation and taking down pages because they know what's coming. <laughs> they know what's coming. Isaiah 66 and 15 says, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. And that that is in line with what Ezra's received. So you got the scripture say where two or three witness um, where there are two or three witness. Let every word be established. OK, so Isaiah has received the vision of the Lord's return. John the Revelator. Ezra, we read Psalm, how the angels of the Lord are 20,000, okay? So this is clear that the Lord is putting on the spirit of his servants to, you know, prophesy of these upcoming times that we get ready to experience, okay? It says, and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, coming back with fire to bring destruction and death to his enemies, these heathen nations, two thirds of the nation of Israel who are disobedient. Verse 16 says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh judge. OK, it says and the slain of the Lord shall be many. OK, a uh, innumerable multitude, man. So nevertheless, man, um, this is this is why these devils are uh, striking, you know, down pages and you know, blocking out information like this because uh, the word is out, man. Yahweh Shai is coming back with the holy angels, man. Repent before it's too late and get get on the right side of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the children of Israel, get right before it's too late. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone. Shalom.